Trying to decipher someone's feelings can be a frustrating and confusing experience, but there are often subtle signs that can give you a clue as to how they really feel. From body language to communication cues, we'll delve into the subtle and not so subtle signals that may be telling you your crush secretly wants your attention. So get ready to uncover the mysteries of the dating game and gain a new perspective on your romantic prospects. Jealousy. Right now, you and your crush have probably not said that you like each other. Instead, you communicate your love through subtle glances and gentle remarks. But that leaves things uncertain. Without someone outright telling you how they feel, all we can do is speculate. When your crush feels like your attention is on someone else, this might result in some surprisingly hostile behavior. Clinical psychologist, Dr. Ayala Pines, points to a few outcomes of jealousy in her book, Romantic Jealousy. According to her, the thoughts that your crush might face when they're jealous are resentment, self-blame, comparison with the rival, concern for one's public image, or self-pity. And this might show in their behavior. They might tell you they don't like the person who they believe has your attention they may grow distant or even slightly mean. If your crush is jealous, they want your attention. Although you should never make your crush jealous on purpose. According to psychology, researcher Dr. Rachel Elphinston and associates, jealousy greatly leads to relationship dissatisfaction. Boasting. Nobody likes a narcissist, but we also want people to think the best of us, especially when we like someone. Some people might have an instinct to be humble and downplay things. You might have done that to stay out of the spotlight or because you're shy. When someone likes you, they want you to be impressed by them. A study by communication specialist, Lynn Miller and colleagues found that there is a difference between speaking positively of yourself and boasting. People who speak well about themselves were seen as competent, whereas boasters were seen as socially insensitive. It's hard to like a boaster. So something your crush might do to get your attention is show you how much they know about something you like, whether it's movies, video games, anime, or sports. The only way they can do this effectively is if they ask you questions. When you have a crush, your instinct is to get close to them. The most logical way to do this is by just talking to them. Those initial steps of trying to get close to your crush can be so painfully awkward. Suddenly you forget what normal people talk about so you ask questions. When you really like someone, you enjoy learning everything you can about them. And this is a good thing. As psychologists Todd Cashton and George Mason found in their 2005 study on the effects of curiosity in building relationships. It was shown that through asking questions, participants felt closer with their assigned conversation partners. The only problem is that sometimes it can feel like small talk. So pay attention to how specific they get and how much they engage with you on any particular topic. In the study, questions were specifically chosen, starting with less intimate and slowly getting more intimate as the study went on. Your crush may even take a particular interest in your emotional well-being. This is how they communicate that they can be dependable while also learning about you and how to impress you. They tease you. There's a common belief that sometimes kids pick on the kids they like, but when we get older, surely we outgrow that instinct. It turns out we don't. There are two different kinds of teasing. One is genuine malicious mockery, and the other is a more gentle, friendly, and lighthearted joke that might come at someone's expense. If your crush is poking fun at you in a way that isn't genuinely hurtful, they might want your attention. According to social psychologist, Justin Kruger and colleagues, we tend to misunderstand people's intentions when they tease us. The differences between the two kinds of teasing get blurred and we end up taking things personally. Maybe this has led you to believe that your crush doesn't feel the same way about you. Next time they tease you, consider whether or not they're actually trying to hurt you or if they just want your attention. If you still can't tell, then maybe compliments. Your crush might have sensed that teasing you isn't getting them the right kind of attention. Or maybe they haven't started teasing you at all and you're still in the stage of getting to know each other properly. Either way, you might find them complimenting you often. We try to appreciate people for more than just their physical appearance, but research by psychologist Dr. Christina Brown and colleagues in 2014 revealed that 
When a person compliments your physical appearance, it could be interpreted as sexual attraction. Of course, it is possible to objectively appreciate someone's attractiveness. But if your crush is repeatedly complimenting you on your looks, your intelligence, and your humor, they probably want your attention. They could even be inviting you to compliment them too, if you haven't already. Have you noticed your crush doing or showing any of these signs? Have you done these yourself? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to Psych2Go. Have an awesome day and good luck with your crush. And remember, you matter.